it better. Zack Snyder's Justice League had more VFX than $356 million Avengers. Endgame. It's a visual effects extravaganza. By Dia Majumdar. Zack Snyder has always been a master storyteller but the extent of his talents have never quite been dissected and held up to a pedestal until Justice League Snyder's cut was released in 2021. Thought to be, by far, the most sensational cinematic panorama displayed on the big screen. It is only surpassed by Marvel's Avengers. Endgame, the most celebrated pop culture phenomenon of recent times. So what then separates the two greatest pieces of cinematic storytelling on the big screen? Also read. See the Snyder Cut, Avengers. Endgame directors Joe and Anthony Russo acknowledge Zack Snyder's Justice League, call it the definitive DC movie. Zack Snyder's Justice League better than Endgame? A story that emerged from within a cave and flew to the farthest corners of the galaxy within a decade captured the undivided attention of the masses for showing its audience a world built on the foundations of love, trust, bravery, will, and sacrifice. DC, on the other hand, thrives on an uncharacteristically fictional setting that does not fit into Stan Lee's definition of comics representing the world outside our window. Zack Snyder used this over-the-top escapism that rules DC, making his heroes more complex than was acceptable to the normal mind. Heroes who operated in the literal shadows, trudged along paths that are morally gray, and played with forces much darker than they were allowed to in any other version of their adaptations. Also read. The bar is going to be very high. Peter Safran believes Zack Snyder's vision is not good enough for DC Elseworlds. Prefers Michael B. Jordan attached Black Superman project over ZSJL2. Both Endgame and Justice League then become exquisite and uniquely distinct in their own incomparable rights. And the unquantifiable emotions that are attached to the two projects also become immeasurable in words, numbers, or tangible feelings. Zack Snyder sheds a light on the making of Justice League. In the run-up to the release of Snyder's Cut, the fans of what came to be widely known as the DC Extended Universe had screamed in frustrated exhilaration at half a decade's worth of waiting and anticipation. Zack Snyder did not disappoint. During an interview for the promotion of his DCEU's third film, the director claimed, It's a visual effects extravaganza. And, you know, my hats off and kudos to my entire visual effects team. They do an amazing job. Worked so hard with them every day on this movie. And it's a labor of love for all of us. Also read. Henry Cavill wanted WB to not rush Justice League after Man of Steel. They did it anyway. It has to be done very delicately with a lot of thought. As for the VFX in the movie, the film is known to include over 2,800 visual effects shots as compared to Endgame's 2,500. Justice League further manages to surpass Endgame in its runtime by one hour with Snyder dividing the length of his film into four episodes to mark the unfolding of the expansive, divisive, and grounding events. Avengers Endgame, directed by the Russo brothers, was equally accomplished in undertaking its extraordinary feat. The duo not only merged the events of the past decade into the culmination of one grand showdown but intertwined a perfectly balanced platter of emotions and juxtapositions of the past and the present mixed with a healthy dose of nostalgia and farewells. Technically, however, Snyder takes the cake when it comes to delivering a visual delicacy that manages to rein in the audience's attention without crowding or overwhelming it. Avengers. Endgame is available for streaming on Disney Plus and Justice League Snyder's Cut is currently on Max.